Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where we learn to be a better programmer. This video is the first video in a series of videos where we're gonna build a full stack web application using the MERN stack. So that means we're gonna use MongoDB, we're gonna use Express.js, we're gonna use Node.js, and then we're also gonna use React for our front end. The app that we're gonna build is going to be a note-taking app that will allow you to paste in a YouTube link and then have a, a rich text editor on the side that you'll be able to take notes with that video. And then the video will also give you the ability to, uh, when you save, it will save the location in the video. So when you return, you'll be able to pick up the notes right where you left off. Okay, so, but, but before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. So in part one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our directory structure for our application. Uh, so we're gonna create our React folder, and then we're also gonna create our server-side folder, and then we're also gonna wrap both of those in a directory uh, that we're gonna publish to Git uh, so that we can have source control on our, on our project. So if you wanna follow along, there's a link below where you can actually uh, clone the repo and just follow along with me. All right, so without much further ado, let's get into it. Hey everyone. So here's the landing page of the app that we're gonna make. It's very straightforward. We have uh, you know, a, a Jumbotron with the, the text in here. And then inside we have like a, a sign up button and a login button. So when we click on login, we can see, we can type in a username and a password. And we, get, we can actually get the notes from the server, which is great. And we have a little overflow menu over here to take you home and also log out. Um, we can delete a note using these trash can icons. We can add a note using this floating action button. And then we can also uh, click on a note. Uh, and then we can, we can get the notes data from, from here. All right. So, um, so now I can actually make modifications to this note, but I'm not going to. So I'm just going to hit save. And we can see that the note is in fact successfully saved. All right. So this is a really quick overview of what we're going to uh, build. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to initialize a new Git repository. So I'm just going to say uNote uh, tutorial like this, and then uh, repository for uNote uh, video tutorial like this. And it's going to be public, and I'm going to say create repository. And okay. So, all right, so here I am in Visual Studio Code and I've created a few directories. So I've created a client directory, a server directory, and a top level uNote directory. So the client directory is where we're gonna house our React code. And then the server directory is gonna house our Node.js and Express uh, server, uh, server code. Um, and I've initialized each directory with a package.json. And then additionally, I've also initialized the top level repository with a package.json as well. And that's gonna be useful for when we wanna deploy this and run scripts across both the client and the server uh, to deploy our application, say to Heroku. All right, so now we, what we wanna do is we wanna link this repository with our, with our GitHub. All right, so we'll take this link from over here, this git remote add like this, paste in this line from GitHub, and it's gonna say git remote add uh, this, uh, this get repository link. All right, so I've added that. And now what I wanna do is I have to actually commit. So if I say git status, I'm gonna say git add this entire directory. And then I'm gonna say git commit and then initial commit like this. And now when I say git push dash u origin master, you can see that it's going to upload. And then when we go look back at GitHub, we see that the directory structure is there. All right, so we're gonna be able to use this repository from going forward. And so our master branch is always going to track back to this, uh, this basic setup like this, okay? And then when we, as we progress through the tutorial, you're gonna actually pick a different branch that's going to map to different parts of the tutorial, okay? So that way, you can, the master branch is always clean and then you can choose what parts of the tutorial you want to work on uh, selectively, all right? So if you like the video, please feel free to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos.